we're a small casino, we don't have modeling capabilities. They've been an active partner in modeling our data, uh, whether predicting where customers in their life cycle stage, if they're new, inactive, inclining, declining, churned, high risk, I'm able to quickly identify those players based on their model. The key benefit is easy access to information. There's been times we're in meetings and a question gets asked, and rather than having to ask an analyst to prepare a report or go query information for us, we can open up the tool, project it onto the TV in our meeting, and just ask a simple question. How was July 4th last year? How was July 4th two years ago? And get those answers relatively easy. Gaming analytics also will suggest dashboards and reports uh, all based on my data set. So it looks at the data and then we'll suggest about 10 different visualizations that I might be interested in, which is really cool because when you're playing in data, sometimes you don't always know what you're looking for and it does a really good job at suggesting some reports and visualizations for me. Model. We also work with them to create other, um, other models. We're in the planning stages right now to predict a customer's worth. So looking and trying to understand what are they gonna spend on their next trip? And not just using the traditional averaging method, but actually using a statist statistical model for that. So before gaming analytics, we had to do it through SQL. So an analyst would go into a platform like SQL and had to spend literally hours either writing code or preparing a report within SQL uh, and Excel in order to extract the data, massage the data, and create a report or a visualization that could take anywhere from three hours to two days, depending on the complexity of the report. With gaming analytics, it's much easier. We're able to query the data in seconds uh, and build a visualization or a report within a few minutes. So the most surprising feature of gaming analytics is the compare feature. In the natural language query section, I can type out compare Theo Win the last month, two months ago, three months ago, four months ago, push enter and it just qu queries it, paints on the screen all four of those periods and I can very quickly compare the last four months in 30 day increments. And it's, it really is amazing to do that in SQL and Excel. It's a much different, it, all, it has to be queried individually and then brought together where this can be done in one simple sentence. So we really like the people behind gaming analytics. We really have enjoyed the amount of time they've dedicated to us. They're always available where pretty much on a text basis, and we can get issues fixed really quickly or discuss new ideas and tools, models, reports, different things that we can, that where the tool can go next. And it, it's, it's really easy and a fun conversation, not always as formal.